in three, two, one, go. 234 doing their patented slam move. Got that gear on right away. Looks like they're the only robot that's going to get that initial gear rotor bonus at the beginning. So that's going to give them a sizable 65 point lead going into the next round, which is a tele operator round. Now, driver sees control of the robots 5188, 3180, and all the rest. Go over there, 1471, upping. I uh, gear as they go right down the path. 45 lining up, getting that gear in their gear garage, or cassette, whatever you want to call it. 234 already has one up and going back to the well for more. 1471 and 5188 fighting over dominance to get that gear onto the peg. Meanwhile, on the red side, 45 places theirs, runs away, waiting for the pilot to take their time, go over there and get it. There's no need to rush, we got plenty of time. There is still a minute and a half to go in this match. Both alliances have two rotors going. We're halfway to fourth of those sides. This is, once again, a very rotor-heavy match. Looks like 234 is having a little bit of trouble, but they figured things out very quickly, did a quick spin move, and got things going. 45, no problem at all. 3180, get theirs up, and just flops off the back end of that peg. That's been the bane of teams for all season long. Trying to work within the bounds of this really, really interesting and intricate field. The drives, drivers on 6498 are very, very popular. They're being waved at by everybody on the opposite side. 234 has a gear jammed up in their carriage. Looks like they did not get it before they got away. 3180, however, was able to place one and drive away. We've got three rotors now on both sides as that horn sounds. It's time to figure out, do we want to go for four rotors? Do we